Hey Tubies, Sheila True Love back with you again, yet again. Today we're going to talk about something a little different besides narcissist. <laughs> it's always good to change it up, you know? My topic for discussion today is why do women lose themselves in marriage and in relationships? You know, it is possible, believe it or not, to love your partner without having to lose yourself. Do you find that you neglect your friends and family who were there for you before you were in a relationship? How many women do you know who will break up their plans, they'll stop spending time with their family members, or they'll give up things that they enjoy every time they're in a relationship? How many females do you know about that? Do you know who are like that? You don't hear from them every time they're in a relationship, the relationship is over, the marriage is over, then all of a sudden you hear from them. Mm, really? You should never stop being you. Stay true to your values and beliefs and don't compromise, sacrifice, or discard them. When you give up your values and beliefs in a relationship, you lose who you are. Don't stop being yourself. That means cut out all the bogus, all the fake and phony behavior, because when you start acting like that, you have lost yourself. It's official. Speak up for yourself also. Know that you have a voice. Your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, and your concerns, yes, they do matter. Don't keep silent and agree with ideas or statements when you know that you disagree. Express yourself. Stand up and speak up for what you you believe in becoming a fake and a phony person is one of the main that's the number one telltale sign that you have lost yourself women who make men the center of their life they usually feel unfulfilled and dependent because they're not being true to who they are they're not true to themselves when women lose track of what they believe in what they stand for, and what makes them happy apart from being with a man? What makes you happy without a man? This is how they lose themselves when they can't differentiate the two. It is great to have things in common, of course it is, but forcing yourself to participate in or taking an interest in things that you really know you don't enjoy, this will ultimately make you feel resentment. And what? miserable. Life is way too short for that. Would you not agree, my tubies? Next, they need to stay connected with their friends and their family. Don't give up or neglect your family and your friends now that you're in a relationship or now that you're married. You need to continue to feed those relationships too. Spend time with them and continue to support them when possible, whenever you have, whenever it's possible. Don't forget your friends outside of your marriage, your family. Don't neglect those who were there for you before the relationship. Make sure to keep in touch with friends and family even though you're married. It can be difficult at times, I know. Sometimes you have a lot on your plate. But even if it is a text message or a FaceTime, at least check in to say hello. If possible, why don't you set up a lunch or a dinner or a coffee date? This gives you an opportunity to vent, to swap stories, or to get fresh perspective on an issue or concerns that you may be having, or maybe your family member may be having, or your friend may be having. The way you interact with your family and your friends is usually different to the way you interact with your partner. You and I both know that. Also, when you keep in touch with family and friends that you have known, again, before you begin this relationship, You'll be reminded of who you are <clears throat> as an individual. Do you remember who you are outside of a relationship without a man in your life? Don't lose track of who you are. If you're seeing a lot of your partner and very little of your friends and your family, it may be time for you to reprioritize things. While it's natural to desire one-on-one -on -one time in your relationship with your partner, especially when it's early on, when it's new, Maintaining a sense of self requires making time for other relationships also. This is a great way to maintain your sense of self. 
What about your hobbies and your interests? What about those? Hmm? Have you neglected your hobbies and your interests as soon as you enter a relationship or as soon as you see that you're married? These things are the foundation to who you are as a person. For example, let's just say that you're a person who you are very uh, artistic, okay? And you love expressing yourself creative, cr creatively. But now that you are in a relationship, you have neglected these things. When you neglect this part, you lose a part of who you are. And you should not do that. I never lost part of, uh, no. I love writing. I love uh, life coaching. I love um, helping people. I love reading. I love research. And I always did that. Women are usually the, the, the ones who lose themselves when it comes to marriage and, and, and relationships. They lose their self-worth, their respect for themselves, their identity. And the very reason they were put on this earth, God gave us all a, a, a reason, a gift. Most women write off their lives, including their alone time. What about your alone time? What about your career? What about your social life? What about your family members? What about your friends? What about your entrepreneurial dreams? If you dreamed of being an entrepreneur and whatever else that you used to love before the relationship, you know, it's good. It is good. And you are complete when you have a life that you can call your own. <clears throat> a good relationship, it should act as a supplement to your already fulfilling life. It's an add-on and it's a pleasant, good to have extra it shouldn't be something that swallows 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 you up it swallows who you are when you notice that you are becoming this plastic fake and phony person and you are no longer real sorry to say but you've lost yourself and you've got to be true to yourself darling you have your married life and then you have your life, your own life. And we know that man and woman become one and all the above. Yes, yeah, still, you need to have your own, honey. Think about the person you were before you was in this relationship. How you used to go out, how you used to have hobbies, and you used to have your own interest. Stay that way. And please, for the love of God, do not neglect your, your other family members. What about your other friends that you have on the outside? They miss you too. So anyway, in closing, I hope you don't lose yourself. This, you always have a choice. You could choose whether you choose to lose yourself or you could choose not to. The choice is always, let me reiterate that it's always, always yours. Until next time, this is Sheila True Love, and we'll get together again as you know. I love you. Bye for now.